ITM podcast powered by Slipstream Autosports. We are your host Daniel and Alex, and this is our Let's Talk Supercars segment. Of course, uh, they raced at the Sydney Motorsport Park for the Sydney Super Night last weekend, which is yeah, last weekend. And uh, what a what a weekend of uh, of racing, Alex. How are you? I am well, and uh, I'm ripping my has monster shirt, and he dominated the whole weekend. Won both mm-hmm. races. Uh, what he didn't get any pole positions, so uh, pretty interesting that he won both races from not pole. Second and third, I believe he started. So um, yeah, no, great weekend. Ford's dominated the whole weekend. Um, lots to discuss, but no one used the bloody recovery hybrid truck. I'm a bit no, disappointed. No, yeah, I, I can. I yeah, saw you crying no in the corner that. there um, because no one used it. Not really. So. But sure. <laughs> next next time. Next time. But, uh, yeah, no, overall, pretty decent weekend. It wasn't the most exciting compared to Townsville. Um, but what was great to see is uh, that pace from Townsville carried over. Uh, so we saw Tickford do very well and Walkinshaw do very well. And the ones who didn't do very well were the championship leaders, uh, Red Bull and Pole Racing. Um, so I guess let's, let's start, because uh, basically, if you're new here to our Let's Talk Supercar show, uh, welcome. Um, how we basically do these reviews is we go by the team standings, um, which is also the current team standings and also the current pit order uh, as we head into Tasmania in a month's time. So starting off with first place, which is Red Bull Ampole Racing. Um, they've got 3,309 points. Will Brown, sixth and a third, whereas Brock Feeney and nine and 11. Yeah, so they're not fast. I'm not sure where their pace has gone compared to the rest. Um, but, uh, yeah. Oh, what do you reckon, Alex? I've, I've just started just grabbing up the championship standing so I can compare where everyone's moved because that's my job at LT. I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's a few things that I do. Um, yeah, it was weird, eh? Like the, uh, I know you're saying everyone's pace was the same, but, you know, like you said, Red Bull wouldn't have wanted that. Um, it was, uh, yeah, besides Will Brown getting a podium on the Sunday, which was a third place, wasn't that spectacular. Brown finished sixth um, on Saturday, and Brock Feeney finished ninth. And well, he's not on, he's not even on my top ten list. Where did he finish Sunday? 11th. He finished eleventh, just outside. Eleventh. There you go. But the so, thing is, they only just made it into the ten. Um, Feeney qualified sixteenth. Um, they just had no pace. Um, no, yeah, finished 11th, but gone. Uh, your boy Scotty. Um, by the way, guys, if you're listening as well on YouTube and Spotify, this of course is actually a live podcast over on TikTok and YouTube. So, um, for future, if you follow our socials, uh, in our Facebook group and Discord, which is now live, uh, you can actually stay up to date when we do those things. So, you can join and ask questions and be featured. For example, Bryce here, another Mustang track, cough, cough, cough. Lidsville, yeah, Chaz drove very well. Your boy Scotty, I don't think a Chev will win this year's championship. It's a, it's a, it's between Waters and Mostert. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting if they're going to keep up this pace. Um, then I do reckon that he might be onto something here. Um, and you were actually saying that on our uh, LTM show, um, in the Radio Italiana studio, Alex, with uh, we might have a champ new championship battle on our hands with Chaz. Well, I said it even before Townsville that, uh, well, not Townsville, I think after, after Townsville. I think you said it. Uh, that yeah, I Townsville said that. Uh, yeah. yeah, after. And I'm like, you know, I think that the championship isn't going to be as simple as people thought it would be between the Red Bull boys. Mm. And two weeks later, here we are. Chaz is in second, Feeney's in third. And the gap is only 105 points. That's it. And uh, for reference, heading into. Sydney, it was only 78 points between Will and Brock, but now for Will and Brock, it's 153, I think. Um, you, you'll you know from there, but... Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Pretty uh, pretty crazy stuff, but uh, now Chaz has been driving really well, but before we get to Chaz, let's quickly dive over Tickford Racing, who have now moved up to P2 in the, the team's ladder, which means they're in the very pointy end of pit lane. Uh, for Tasmania, which is going to be very, very important given the size of that track for quality and stuff. Uh, Supermax, how you going? Welcome. Uh, so, yeah, they've got 2,507 points. K 
Cam Waters got a seventh and a second. Thomas Randall, a second and a tenth. And a young gun wild card, Lockie Dalton, got a 22 and a 24. Because, um, of course. Wasn't Randall, wasn't Randall third in Randall? He's, I could be wrong. I've probably written the wrong thing. But uh, he was on the podium, yeah. though. No, Matt Payne <laughs> yeah, got second. Matt Payne got second. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, my bad. But still. P3 is still pretty good, but uh, their qualifying pace on the Saturday, that shootout especially, uh, to get a front row lockout. Um, again, I'm so glad that they're carrying that pace from Townsville because uh, um, it's where we thought they were going to be at the beginning of the season when they dropped from four to two. Yeah, it was nice to see that Randall is, um, yeah, he did have a good result. Um, he's been improving all year, so yeah, it was nice to see Tickford lock up the front row, like you said. And, um, like, they had the race pace. And Waters had a bit of an issue um, in the pit stop, which unfortunately cost him the race. Um, actually, funny enough, both people that started first on pole, Waters and Davison, didn't have great races. <laughs> like they had great qualifying parts, but the race pace wasn't brilliant. So, yeah. Well, they also gambled with the one-stop strategy uh, for Cam on the Sunday. Which um, still gave him a second place, which is good. But in term, like compared to Chaz, because he was on a two stopper, um, just they had no chance. Um, but uh, in terms yeah. of wild card, though, Lockie Dalton stayed out of trouble. Did very well for his first uh, main game debut. Um, that car looks quite nice under the lights. Like do, it looks a bit basic compared to the rest, but it looks nice and clean in my opinion. Uh, what do you think of the Lockie's uh, livery? Oh, I'll be honest, I didn't really see it, unfortunately. But I saw the Instagram post and uh yeah, it looked really good, it looked very clean. What is Fid you Fid Yushin Racing? That's what is titled under. Um Yeah, that's that that would be the sponsor. I don't know what that is. I've probably, been Googling probably, it. I've never probably, heard of that in my life. Probably the sponsor in my opinion in, in uh I reckon. Fid but, uh, Group. Um Birdie, um, I think that's what your name is there. Sorry, the uh, the the font is a bit tricky to read there. Uh, if a Ford don't win this year, face palm. Well, f- it's going to be very interesting. Um, now there is a bit of a gap though at the moment between Red Bull and Tickford. Um, but we've still got heaps of races left, especially Bathurst coming up as well. That's a big amount of points as well. Uh, Lidsville. I look the I like the look of Randall's car. Yeah, me too. Looks really cool. Um. Yeah, similar to F1, Pole didn't win yet. Um, he almost did, though. But we'll get into that for our F1 pod very, very soon after this show. Uh, your boy, Scotty, I'll be watching Ryan Wood. Yeah, definitely keep an eye out for him. He's definitely a, an up-and-comer. He's definitely one of my favourites amongst the grid at the moment. Um, he did... Where did he go? Actually, you know what? In that being said, Alex, do you have anything yeah, good else? good segue. Do you have anything to say about Lockie? You're trying to... No, you were trying to do something. Okay, cool. Good. No, I found a sponsor. Um, That's all. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice uh, segue, as Alex said. WAU is currently in third position with 2,494 points. Um, so not too far away from Tickford, uh, which just makes the battle even more juicy. Uh, Chaz Mostert, clean sweet weekend, one and a one. Uh, Ryan Wood, 13th and a 16th. Yeah, a bit of a disappointing weekend for Ryan. Uh, I'm not too sure what happened to him in race one, but race two, he did get caught in a battle with, you know, that battle pack between Matt Payne. I, I, I think maybe Thomas Randall was involved in that as well. David Reynolds was, certainly was because he got nudged by Ryan. Uh, no, sorry, no, he didn't. Mark Winterbottom, I think. Someone nudged him from behind. Um, there were so many cars involved. It was crazy. Yeah, I did. So there was like a four-way battle or something with like Stanaway and Winterbottom and yeah, that no, was Payne. Yeah, Payne it. did a massive. Did you see? Yeah, his overtake. That was a juicy overtake. You're heading into turn one. <laughs> no, I, I've, I've stood on the the pit wall at turn one mm. when uh, Trans Am two were racing. Yeah. Uh, for the speed ser- uh, super series, and like that would have been. I don't think his underwear would have been very clean during uh, turn one. Let's just say that. That would have taken absolute balls. Oh, absolutely. To do that, oh, <laughs> mate, like the speed that even the TA2 guys were taking through that corner, mm. um, pretty sure the aerodynamics would be pretty similar to the supercars these days, but like, they were committed. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, but no, that was, it was really cool to see. Uh, I love the camera shots of the, the, the with the, um, the side shots where the facing the rear wheels when they kept touching. Um, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was cool. I quite like that. Um, Bryce says Bathurst is a Chevy track. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Uh, Jay, hope BF and Will Brown can get the dub this season. Um, yeah, it's going to be who knows. I, I, I keep saying Will Brown might be able to get it. You have changed your mind. I'm still going to lock in Will Brown because I, I got to keep up with what I said. Um, yeah. and we need to be competitive <laughs> with each other. Um, but Chaz is definitely fair, not not going to make it easy for him. That's for sure. Um, but in saying that, I would love to see Chaz win as well. Um, I'd love to see both, but uh, I'm going to lock in Will. Um, when do you reckon Brody Kostecki will go next year? Um, either NASCAR or New Line Racing. That's what I said. And I, we've actually made a prediction video on YouTube. If you want to check that out, we, you, you're more than welcome to. That's where I say it. Spoilers. Uh, Alex, where do you think Brody will end up? I have no idea. Fantastic. <laughs> I didn't even know who, where he was going to end up this year, let alone uh, next year. Look, it won't be Erebus. Let's just say that. Um, funny enough, uh, with the standings, like even though Chaz won both races, Tickford overtook them in the championship. So, yeah. well, it's so close between second and third. Maybe and if, um, like the only two teams, the only two swaps this week was Tickford, Walkinshaw, second and third, and Matt Stone and Team Eighteen, six and seven. The rest of them have stayed the same. So, yeah, right. Um, well, I reckon it's if been Ryan had a better result. Even would have been different. Yeah, because the gap's pretty small, eh? It's less than 10, is it? Or just a uh, let me double check. A bit more than 10. Um, 13? Quick maths. Hang on. Um, yeah, 13 points. Yeah. 13 um, points. So, yeah, nothing in it, that's for sure. Um, your boy, Scotty, I really think Andre Heimgartner needs to be somewhere else. Um, yeah, I personally agree. BJR certainly haven't... Can you put him... Didn't, Didn't you put him somewhere else in your prediction? I, in my prediction, see, because I think I did a theory where if BJR magically decided to get rid of two cars, uh, he would go to Team 18. Um, but I think one of the, I think Mark um, will probably stay till next year at least. Uh, and I think David has a multi year contract. So it's a bit awkward at the moment. So I don't think anything will change in the BJR garage uh, unless Declan mm. Fraser replaces Bryce Fullwood. But. Um, that MIDI sponsorship money. Um, it's pretty nifty. But, uh, yeah, overall, Chaz, though, we haven't spoken about too much about Chaz in this Walkinshaw segment. He He's definitely a weapon, um, that's for sure. So, oh, yeah. He just showed his class this week. He was I don't think, I, I think that's the first time they said that he's won both races in a weekend. Ever. Um, ever. Yeah, right. I don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what I heard um, Jess Yates say in the, in the uh, interviews. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, no, he did very well. Uh, hopefully we see more of that. That was still a really cool battle, though, between him and, him and Cam in race one. Um, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bro, um, I reckon Shelby Power... Uh, have God, Who will be his teammate? Uh, he said, I reckon Shell V-Power and he, Wee's teammate, will be Kai Allen. Uh, yeah, nonetheless, Kai Allen got to be. He has to be on the main grid. Surely, right? Um, well, I can only see Deeper Squire leaving now, apparently. Hmm. I don't know about Will. See, I've locked in Will because um, he looks more determined than ever. Um, they were pretty much, yeah. they're actually in saying that. Uh, they're still a bit further down the list. Um, we've still got um, Penwright to talk to talk about beforehand, but for my predictions, I put down Will uh, and Kai for next year. Anton might go to, well, I don't know where he would go to, to be honest with you. Uh, I think maybe Team 18, maybe even, who knows, but um, yeah, no, out of the two, uh, Will's doing a little bit better this year. Um, they're both free at the end of the year, so um, I'm curious to see what happens. Um, yeah, Wilbur's going nowhere. Uh, and the thing is, you know what I'm excited about too? Will Davison is co-driving, well, Kai Allen's co-driving with Will um, for this year's Enduro. So um, yeah. that will be a weapon if all goes well. 
Anton to Bryce reckons Anton to replace to BJR to replace forward. Um, yeah, that's another possibility as well. Or oh, who knows? No, he won't. He'll never go back to Erebus. Um, I doubt that ever. I don't think anyone wants to go to Erebus besides so Todd Hazelwood. Exactly. Um, who I can we almost have... lock in the to- yeah? Can we can we almost lock in the, the Jack LeBrock and Todd Hazelwood? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's what I said. I confidently that was one of the first things I had down for my predictions when I was writing it up. Yeah, it was Todd Hazelwood. Um, just makes more, makes a lot makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think we highly we do reckon Brody will jump to Premier. He will be a really good asset to them. Uh, imagine like him and Golding and Ludo. Whew. Plus Triple Eight machinery as well. Um, yeah, but uh, let's move on with. Um, Grove Racing, as we said before, uh, with Matt Payne. Oh, sorry, they're on 2,311 points. Matt Payne, a second and a fourth, with Richie 16th and 21st. What a contrast. Uh, what an awful weekend Richie had. Yeah, didn't have much, uh, didn't have much pace, hmm. uh, which wasn't great. And, um, then on the flip side, you had Matt Payne who finished top four both races. Mm, now, so, he hasn't had a mm. – he's really – like, he had a great start to the year, Richie, and then he sort of just dropped down a bit. Um, it's been really weird. Yeah, I it? think just the length – I think just the length of the season is just maybe getting to him a bit. Like, I don't know. But like also, the tracks that um, – like obviously, he was strong at Bathurst, which we saw last year with Shane. And what was round two? The oh, um, Grand Prix. Yeah, that was yeah, obviously a track that he kind of suits with his GT style. Um, but like, yeah, I guess since then it's just been a bit downhill. But I don't know if um, it is weird though seeing the discrepancy between him and Payne is mm. so large. Um, so yeah, don't know what's happening with him, but yeah, Matt Payne, unbelievable. He's uh, top five in the championship, and he's 423 behind Will Brown. I think still there's potential that he could be a contender, but it's a bit difficult. Um, Can I just point out? Look, more consist- Sorry. More consistency. Yeah, go on. Lucky Dalton, sixth place with 72 points. <laughs> Is, have they, not- oh, that's- they have done it again. <laughs> Uh, this is just looking at the Supercar website, by the way, guys. Um, they did this with Cooper Murray, uh, mine, and they've still got not like they've still got him as twenty first position too. By the way, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, well, shout out to Lockie Dalton for skipping the whole grid up to sixth place after one round. Um, My, mine's not glitched, <laughs> which was. I'm gonna refresh. No, it's still that. Okay, there you go. Oh no, there it is. There, yeah. <laughs> It's in the it's in the team in the driver's bit. Lucky dog. Fix your website, supercars. Come on, man. Um, oh no. Gee whiz. Uh, Bryce, uh, Todd will drive a go kart just to be on the grid. Yeah, to- Todd's a yes man, uh, and sponsors love him for it. Um, he's a great great ambassador for stuff. Jordan, yeah, I don't see forward. That's what I mean. That's that's why I reckon the BJR grid's um, not changing next year because forward's got that sponsorship. Uh, Evans is driving obviously SCT Logistics. They're not gonna get rid of that backing i know you know smith was there um but jones yeah he's the last stroll he's not gonna get he's not gonna disappear jay discord looking really good thanks mate great to hear uh jay thanks for the roses well can i just say that lucky dalton is being in sixth in the championship apparently um he is uh, apparently a protege of uh, Mark Sambros. Oh, really? I did not know. Um, yeah, that's what his bio says. Mm. And unlike other drivers like Thomas Randall, um, he mm. does own an outside car. <laughs> oh. Remember that glitch with the, the drivers not owning outside cars? Yeah. Um, that he does. And it's, um, <laughs> it's a Volkswagen Amarok. Yeah, right. I think Ryan Wood has a high on also like, There's also Is like... That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, let me get it up. Ryan Wood. 
There it is. <laughs> the man, the legend. Oh, God. Did you see that video? Uh, I watched. They put it up today where Fabian Coulthard um, hopped in for a hot lap with him without Ryan even knowing. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and he, you know you hit turn three when you short shift? As yeah. Ryan was going to do it, Fabian already went and did it for him, and he was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this passenger I've exactly. got that's just changing gears for me? That's funny. Ah, oh, thanks, Jay. Appreciate it, mate. Uh, yeah, I'm very stoked to see that uh, our Facebook and Discord are up and running. Plus, we've got heaps more annou- announcements to come in the future, and that's where you will see them. Uh, and that's also where, you know, the whole point of our Facebook and Discord community is to make a community so anyone can comment and have a conversation. We might even do some um, some calls on the Discord, who knows, where people can join in and stuff, just hang out, see what happens. It just provides that space for us. That would be cool. Hmm. Um, that'd be very cool. Oh, maybe. Uh, just, had a, just had a mid-podcast idea. Maybe we could do it even do our Q&A on then. That's it, yeah. One maybe. day. Maybe. Well, see, see we're Discording idea. privately right now, so maybe... Um, uh, maybe that could be like maybe. a next time thing. But uh, nice cast society. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Bryce says, I've also seen the news that Anton is going to the Groves GT3 team. It'll be a co-driver also. Have you? Have you mate? Well, potentially, he could even just go to Groves because Stanaway doesn't have a two-year contract, does he? Yeah, they, does he? they both do. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, I've got it written here. Well, like we, said, like we said at the radio, contracts mean nothing <laughs> these days. So you never know. Uh, I don't know where I've written it, but uh, you know what, don't matter. But uh, anyway, let's move Who's on. Next? DJR, DJR, um, Dick Johnson Racing. They've dropped back. In, I think no, they weren't the ones that moved, were they? No, it's, no, no, no. So they've got okay. two thousand two hundred and seventy-eight points. Uh, with Anton fit two fifth place finishes, uh, and Will Davison a fourth and a sixth. So they were pretty much neck and neck in terms of race pace. Will was obvi- was fastest. Obviously, he got that pole position on the Sunday. Just a sh- he just shows that he can. St- he's still in it. He can still do it. Um, and for record, oh, like yeah. you said, he's sixth in the championship compared to Anton, who is, well, I guess, technically ninth, given how Lockie Dalton shouldn't be there. Um, but uh, yeah, not a bad weekend overall for them compared to how their year's been. Their year's been up and down, um, but. Oh no! The website well. has the website has Will and Dalton at six. Oh, I see. They're both six. Okay, so, so it so equals yeah, ten. God, because I, I actually when you when you just said that, I had to double check that I didn't write Dalton at yeah, six. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, I saw lock. lock but I didn't. See, supercars fix your fix your stuff. Um, don't but, use that. Don't use that bit. Use the actual driver standing page, not the drivers. I am using the drivers because in driver standings, it's fine. Right. No, you're not. I'm using, you're using driver oh. team. There's two. Uh, okay, yeah, it is fixed. Never mind. Yeah. Thanks for that, there Alex. You go. Um, but Anton, he's You're moved welcome. up the championship ladder. I think he was 14th last last time out, I reckon. Probably. Hang on. Let me find out. Alex is using his... <clears throat> Let me have a look at some questions and stuff while Alex is doing his LTM maths. Well, um, I, I only ever write top 10, so... In the top 10, I'm not. The only reason I said that is because based what? off... I did, when I made the predictions video, he was 14th. Um, and uh, He was not enough. Not in the 10. It was not in the top 10. No. All that matters. Uh, when do Dunlop series get their hands on the Gen 3 cars? I'd say probably in the next three years, two years, maybe. Maybe three. Actually, well, the... no, nah, I don't want them to have them because I'll just damage them all week. Well, they are pretty expensive, aren't they? With their amount of, with their amount of skill, my God. I'll just <laughs> destroy them all. There'll be none left. Uh, yeah, you, you, they have. Am I lying, it's, though? It's been Come an on. expensive season for, Super, for Dunlop series. I actually think. I actually think the safety cars led the most laps. Probably not wrong. Probably onto something. We might have to do some research on that. Just watch the races back. And gen- I actually genuinely think it'd be one of the top. It'd be top five. Mm. Has to be. Um, Justin here has a question. Uh, will the Mustang struggle yes. at Tasmania with super soft tyres? That's going to be interesting altogether. Um, because obviously Triple Eight, that's one of their strongest tracks. Um, so yeah. We'll well, they, if they bounce I think back. I said on the I think it's something that they've won the last six races there or something. I will do some searching. Oh, you do that. I'm going to start calling you Aaron Noon. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I'm, happy to do. I'm the hats guy. 
I'm um, a stats guy. But I'm yeah, no, it's going to be very interesting for sure. Because not only that is, but it's going to be extremely cold there. Um, so it will be very, very interesting. Um, yeah, I don't honestly, I don't know when there will be a next gen for supercars as well. So who knows? Cool. Nice car society. Thanks for joining. Um, appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Um, uh, live pod. Jay says live podcast in the sense you just do it on pod on Discord. Um, yeah. So at how basically our podcast work is, we get um, we actually Discord each other. That's how you can see us right now. Um, maybe we can have a private server, pr- private channel. On we'll do we'll do that in the Q and A. We'll, we'll talk about that after. But uh, let's move on to um, Matt Stone Racing in sixth position. With 2,017 points, Nick Percat, two eighth plate finishes, um, and uh, Cameron Hill, an 11th and a 14th. Um, pretty decent weekend for Nick, given how of a sh- what, what a shocking weekend he had at Townsville. Um, great to see there. Cam, Wa- Cam Hills, um, too many Camerons in the field, um, <laughs> stayed out of trouble. I'm um, not sure. Not sure what happened to him in the 14th position there, but uh, they, they, it's roughly where they normally are anyway. The eighth and the tenth. Oh, I found out. Yeah. That well, every time I write results, it goes by the the round weekend, not individual race winners. And I was actually wrong. Will Brown won the last one, but before that, before that, I wasn't really wrong. Triple mm. Eight have won the last four before that, okay. so they have dominated it, just not last year. Yeah, right. Well, you're almost spot on. Um, I was almost spot on. Peter, you would imagine the next generation of supercar would be when they can't run the Camaro. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it might be a Cadillac. Who knows? Who knows? Unless they keep the, Cam- I don't know. Um, well, that's what NASCAR plans on doing once the Camaro, because the Camaro in real life, like in in the I was going to real call world. it real world, um, has stopped production. Well, it so... is. Production world. Production, production world. Yeah. The non-racing world. Uh, Justin, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it, mate. Um, but uh, who knows what happens? Who knows if they lead towards the Trans Am route, which um, wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, or rather that than GT3s. Um, so at least keeps the V8 formula, but that's another story for another day. Uh, Team 18, P7. Uh, with nineteen, with one thousand nine hundred and thirty points, Mark Winterbottom twenty fourth and a thirteenth, David Reynolds two seventeenth place finishes. Um, now Mark, he had that lock up incident that turn on lap one, turn two, uh, where he punted Macaulay Jones off the road. Um, that was weird. That was weird. Um, but thirteenth place, not too shabby, roughly where we sort of expect Team Eighteen to be. And David Reynolds, of course, he got caught in the wars uh, on Sunday. Um, He was in the shootout as well. Um, But, uh, yeah, no, bit of an average weekend for them as a squad. Um, But, uh, yeah, Yeah. next up um, is Erebus. Again, eighth place, 1,906 points, with Jack LeBrock not being able to finish race one due to a big blowout. Uh, I think... Was it tail shaft, I believe, um, caused the problem there. And a 15th place on the Sunday, Bro- uh, Brody Kostecki, a 10th and a 7th. So it's good to see him back in the 10. Um, I tell you what, it's a, a long time coming, given how uh, Townsville went. Uh, yikes. But, uh, oh, yeah. Bryce says, Caddy Hypercar is the next supercar confirmed. There you go, you heard it here first. Uh, is there just going to be shootouts at every track now? I hope not because they can be quite tedious. Um, actually, Alex, I don't that, actually mind the You like the both, like for both days, or would you like it for just the Sunday? I uh, rate the shootouts. I don't know why. Yeah. Like I don't know. It just it mixes things up, and I think that's what motorsport needs these days. It's something that probably F one's lacking. That'd be cool. I would love to see them have a one lap dash. They they technically do cool. anyway, given how slow they are in pit lane. But we'll, we'll talk about that after. Oh, <laughs> we'll talk about that after. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, I reckon shootouts should at least just be a Sunday thing. 
Um, just hypes it up a bit more. Yeah, I see a point. Um, but I just worried it would get tedious if they do it every track and stuff. Um, Tazzy, I, I think I think it's just a normal qualifying or a special qualifying because obviously they do the Q1, Q2, Q3 formula unless that's changed. Um, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, P9, Nulon Racing, 1,862 points with James Golding a, with 14th and 9th. Tim Slade, a 15th and a 12th. Um, bit of an average weekend for them, although P9, not too shabby. Um, where Tim Slade was actually faster than Golding at some point this weekend, especially in the shootout. Uh, sorry, into the, yeah, shootout. Heading into the shootout, I should say. Uh, where he was inches away from getting provisional pole from Cam Waters on the Sunday. Um, which is cool to see. Tim has had a rough year so far. And we, I said that, that's why I reckon... Yeah. Unfortunately, I reckon this will be his last year as a full-time driver um, with Brody taking his spot. Um, what do you reckon? What, what, how do you... I see that happening. Do you reckon Tim will kinda, win the group? I kinda... Not really. Yeah, I true. think he'll just do TA next year. He'll do fairly well at that, I reckon. Um, Is he doing it now? Yeah, I think so. In the Trans Am with... Gold, yeah. with um, yeah, too many Trans Ams. Um, Josh and True. Michael think they like they like shootouts. Shootouts are great. Yeah, I like them. I love them. I love shootouts. I just worried that if we have it at every track at every session, it's a bit tedious. Um, Bathurst is always special. The shootouts just just like another formula. Bryce, exactly, mate. Brody and Ludo would work well together. I, I completely agree with that. They would. Um, so let's move on to the rest of the field. We've got the first part of Brad Jones Racing. Uh, with 1,792 points. Andre Heimgartner, 12th and 19th. Uh, Fullwood, 19th and 18th. Average average weekend for them, but unfortunately that's where they've been all year. I'm old. Um, next up, 11th, uh, which is the other half of the BJR crew with 1,379 points. Jackson Evans, 18th, 20th. Macaulay Jones, 20th and 22nd. Um, yeah, that's... There's enough said. There's not much to be said about them. Uh, and 12th place is Blanchard Racing with 1,323 points. Um, Aaron Love, 23rd and a 25th. And James Courtney, a 21st and a 23rd. Um, another average weekend for them, unfortunately, too. Um, despite yep. how, how pretty decent they were at pace, uh, Townsville. Um, but yeah, definitely the weekend mm. to forget for them. Um, Sandown should be free on free to air. To be honest, Justin, all of it should be on free to air. Um, simple as that. Can Courtney just retire now? Well, oh, he doesn't. From the sounds of it, he doesn't even want to. No, he wants to retire on his terms, which he doesn't even agree which, with. Which super, which supercar <laughs> thought was next year. Yeah, well, because he, well, that's because <laughs> his terms was next year. And he's like, oh, hang on, my terms are not my terms at all. Um, <laughs> It's just a mess. Um, so, yeah, who knows? But I, I, I do reckon twenty five will be it. <laughs> but uh, that is it for the. Um... I think that uh, I think there could be a lot of drivers that end twenty five. Like you could be seeing oh, Davidson, Slade potentially winner bottom. But there's a few. Um. So Michael, basically, what I what we mean by accidentally retiring is he came out. Uh, he was talking about his real estate side like job that he's going to be doing and he, he actually uh accidentally let out that he'll be finishing up his contract which is this year and next year and then that'll be it he didn't apparently he didn't mean to say that um he actually didn't have any intentions in saying it so that's what we mean no i do kevin thanks for the follow mate greetings from melbourne well welcome mate welcome um hope you'll hope you're having a great uh, what day is it? Tuesday evening. Mad Dog Aaron Love is the Nikita Mazepin of the supercars. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, nah, I don't, I don't see think that. so. Um, I reckon. I reckon he was the Robert Kubica. Part two. Part two. Without the injured arm. Um, but he, yeah, Aaron's not making any crashes or anything like that, or any spins. No, he's just um, lost. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, yeah, he accidentally said it too soon. He. Had no intentions of doing it. You know what James is like. Actually, you know who you know who he is. Mm. He's Joe Guanyu. Yeah, exactly. A promising well, driver. I won't say Bottas because 
because Bottas does good qualifying so every now and then. Yeah, but he did. He's trying to win you. Just he's just there in the back. A, a rookie with promise, but the car behind him isn't there. Which no. sums it up. Um, Alex, do you want to run through the championship standings after the Sydney Super Night? I would love to. I'll do the top ten. Uh, Will Brown is still P1. Chaz Mostert second is only 105 points behind him. Feeney is 153 points behind him. Uh, Waters in fourth is 356. Payne is in four. Uh, sorry, fifth with 423. Uh, sixth is Davison. Randall seventh. He moved up a fair bit actually. Golding eighth. Percat ninth. And Deep Squally 10. And I'll quickly just run through the rest of the grid with LeBrock, Heimgartner, Stanaway, Winterbottom, Reynolds. That's your 15. Then we've got Hill, Wood, Courtney, Fullwood, Slade, and uh, well, that's your 20. And then we've got, uh, last but not least, we've got Evans, Macaulay Jones, Love, Kostecki, um, still down there. We then Todd Hazelwood in 25th and Lockie Dalton with 72 points is ahead of Cooper Murray in 27. So there you go. That's your grid. Um, overall, pretty decent weekend. Uh, unfortunately, we've got to wait a whole month now until the next round, which is the Tasmanian Super Sprint. I think August 18th, I think. That's that's the next one. Um, but that's going to be exciting. But don't worry. We'll keep you guys occupied. We've got heaps of supercar content coming your way in the meantime. So be sure to give us a follow and subscribe if you haven't yet. And, and we've also got stuff covering... Uh, throughout the whole entire motorsport world with F1, IndyCar, NASCAR, etc, etc, etc. For those on TikTok, stick around when I say bye. I'm just wrapping up this podcast, so don't leave when I say goodbye. Uh, any final thoughts, Alex, before we wrap up this podcast? No, I'm very much looking forward to this mania. Always is entertaining as. And uh, I think this year will be no different. And come on, Chaz, let's make this an interesting... <laughs> Interesting championship. Uh, look, we, we want the championship to go down to Adelaide. So at the moment, it's headed that way. So all good for me. It's going to be very interesting indeed. And Tasmania is always a fun track as well. Uh, it's really enjoyable. Oh, but, yeah. uh, thanks, everyone, who has joined on TikTok. Of course, like I said, stick around when I say bye because we're not actually ending the live, but we are ending the podcast. And like I said, if you're watching and listening on Spotify and YouTube and you want to get involved in the pod, be sure to first off check out our socials and our Discord and Facebook groups so you know when we are doing that. Um, But yeah, that's all from us. Bye for now.